Hello, my soccer universe. Well, I came to the realization that, yeah, the Europa League video will post this Saturday, but then uh, since I still had no time to look at any future jersey reviews, the, there will be not much content except for my regular action review, you know, soccer action review uh, things. And I wanted to actually make some few videos to hold you over, especially on the weekend. And I also realized that I have at least 20, if not 25 to 30 jerseys that I have not made a dedicated video of. So, uh, what better way to bridge that gap? So now that I'm having the Europa League background from that video back there and wearing a Europa League away jersey, third jersey, from 1920 of LUSK, there's one missing. I made a video about this one, I made a video about the black one, the one that you have not seen in a dedicated video is of course the white home jersey, which oddly enough was the last one to be released. It's this beauty, it's very much the same design, except that they kept this time the color in the same color as the shirt. And typically for a home jersey, not only in Austria, but in many other leagues, the sponsor is actually mm, the sponsor's true color, which is a dark blue and a little bit gold, uh, and not in black and white, as it's, for instance, here. If you look at the two, there is a different color. so. That makes it uh, a little bit different. But this was the jersey that was worn the most uh, they, in the Europa League. They released it for the Champions League playoff. Basically, they had, I mean, they knew that they can't play in the Europa League group stage, but they released it just before that. Then they played against Club Bruges twice in this one. And for that reason, I thought I will never hear uh, the Champions League anthem played at the last game. So, when I got this jersey, I knew I need to get it with Champions League patch. Bought the patch online, my mother sold it on, so it actually fits nicely. It actually took me a while to fig figure out what's the correct direction, but we figured that one and of course got the respect patch too. As I said, the design is rather classy. It was worn with white pants. I actually think it was best. It looked best when it was worn with black pants at Old Trafford in the Last time this was worn, and I had also, I think it said here, Danke, with thank you in German. Um, we have the Upper Austrian Crest, and then, of course, the supplier logo. We're self manufacturing, so uh, this is a second sponsor. This was the sleeve sponsor back then. And funnily enough, in the other jerseys, it has uh, Forza ASK, which is the, 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 our own brand. But here you can see they actually put the BWT in there which i personally find rather rather funny i have to say when we saw this one we all said hmm, is this the classiest shirt that lask ever played in because you know there is something about an all white look i have to say i would have wished that they would have gone black this all out black this all out to have a more classic look a little bit of longer lines of this shirt here. I think you could have done that here. Would have looked probably more lusk like but I have to say it's a really really nice looking jersey overall. Um, and this was a birthday present from last year and since this was for my birthday which is on the 27th I got my favorite number 27. Fortunately we had a player Goiginger who is also not, not a bad player. I mean he is a little bit can be frustrating at times but I really like him. So I got it fully customized in the Champions League uh, stuff on the back. There it only says Lask. I think this it's a really, really fine jersey. I think the only thing that bugs me always a little bit is that this sponsor is not in black and white. I know there's some color coming here, there's some color coming here, but it's a really, really, really nice jersey. I have, have, have to say I'm very happy to have that one. I even have, you know, it's stretchy as the others are as well, and I have the feeling that the players were this is exactly the player specification so yeah let me know how you like this one now you've seen probably all the last jerseys that i have at this very moment so you can go in the playlist i have a playlist a collection you can see all my last jerseys that i have there and of course all the other jerseys that i haven't made, made videos of which is the large majority of my collection but not all of it so yeah uh i have been thinking about this year's collection but 
I'm rather going for uh, for the Bundesliga jerseys than actually the European jerseys, which are a little bit more boring. I mean, it's just all white and then they have a little off sand strap, but I have to say I didn't like these as much as this one. Let me know what you think about this jersey. If you have any memories, I have only good memories, although we did not make it into the Champions League. We played a great Europa League in these ones, so they will always be have a special place in my heart. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon with another shirt, very, very, very soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.